Guys, we did it. We did it. Oh my god. 30 straight days of upload. I am so pumped. I'm so, so happy. It's been a really, really exciting month. I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of work, but it's been such, such a fun month. So many new subscribers, so many old subscribers coming back, all the new comments, the like, all the conversation we had. Oh my God, guys. This has been one of the best YouTube month of, of my life, and it's all really thanks to you guys. But I do have an announcement to make. All good things must come to an end, guys. And this daily upload thing, I don't know anymore. I don't know if I can keep this up. I got a lot of work and yeah, I gotta move on, you know, do bigger and better things. I think what I'm gonna have to do here, guys, is instead of me uploading a video every day, I'm gonna have to start to upload two videos every day. <laughs> Ha! I got you there, right? Did I get you? Did I not get you? I probably didn't get you. That lame joke aside, the daily upload is gonna keep going. I love this grind. I love how it's making my life lately, and I love you guys so much. So I'm not gonna stop this daily upload. And with all that long intro aside, let's get right into this week's weekly rotation. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today is Friday, so it's weekly rotations, of course. And we're gonna start off with last week's Friday. And Friday, I wore this Creed gem right here. This is Cess Mandarine Pampo Mousse. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous citrus fragrance. Oh man, it's discontinued though. That's kind of sad. I looked on the Creed's website and it's gone. Oh my god. But this is, guys, one of the best citrus fragrances in the world when it comes to niche fragrances. Oh, and I don't normally praise citrus fragrances, right? You guys look at my channel, it's like, Timmy almost never mentions a citrus heavy fragrance. Hey guys, it's just not that many interesting ones. But this one, if we're talking about interesting, intriguing, alluring, seductive, maybe not seductive, interesting, alluring, this is it. Oh my god. One of the best Creed that's ever released. God, so, so good. It smells like a load of dried mixed citrus and it has a really old school powdery vibe as well. But to me, it doesn't smell old school. Like it has an old school vibe, sure. It reminds me of some of the old school stuff, but it somehow smells modern at the same time. Like there's nothing like this out in the market right now. And I think when this was released, it was one of the most unique fragrance ever released. And smelling it now, I still don't see any other fragrance that has this vibe, like in, in its entirety, there's none. So this to me is still one of the most unique citrus fragrance out there in the market. And this has been released for, I don't know, over a hundred years now or something like that. I forgot the actual release date, but oh my God, guys, you have to try this. Get a sample if you can and, you know, buy some bottles. Maybe you can still find them on eBay or something. Grab this one. You would not be disappointed if you love citrus fragrance. Next, we have Saturday, and Saturday I was testing out a fragrance by Parfums Vintage because, as you guys know, I dropped the Parfums Vintage unboxing video, and this one was Rush of Unicorns. I was wearing it throughout the night, and this one is supposedly a clone of Millicene Imperial, and it's supposed to last longer, right? From my findings, it actually does last longer, yeah. <laughs> it actually does last longer, but the smell, would I say is 100% identical? I would say not 100% identical. This smells more like if Millicene Imperial hit the gym for a few months and came back out with a six pack. It smells stronger, it smells deeper and richer. As opposed to the light and regal appeal of the original Millicene Imperial, that smells more airy and refreshing in nature. This one does have the refreshing vibe and a lot of the, a lot of the scents, I would say 95% is similar, but the overall feeling of this is deeper than Millicene Imperial. So I wouldn't say the smell is 100% is identical, but I would say for, sh for certain that this does last longer. To me, how many hours, I'm not for certain because I wore it at night and I kind of fell asleep before <laughs> I could count how many hours. But before I fell asleep, I was wearing it for at least five hours already. So it already lasts longer on me because Millicene Imperial lasts like three hours on my skin. So this is already better. A lot of other people reported this lasting seven to eight hours. I'll have to test it again to find out. But yeah, that's just my information on this fragrance so far, guys. Rush of Unicorns by Parfums Vintage. My my scent of the day for Saturday. Sunday, guys, I wore a Sorrow Wanted. Ah, this brings back memories. Memories of house parties. Memories 
of compliments, memories of being drunk and hungover the next day. <laughs> loads of loads of those memories. But this is still a really good scent. I wore it because I was preparing myself for a review of it and I did release a review if you guys have not watched it yet. This is a really good scent. Really, really good. Best value for the price for sure. This is considered in the cheapy territory guys because it's like $35 for 100 ml, which to me is ridiculous. It's ridiculously good. The price is amazing. The performance of this is also very beastly off my skin. The compliments is good. Like I said, house parties are the best time to wear this thing. Trust me, compliments is good. The scent itself is much, much, much needed improvement of the original Invictus, which to me smells really basic. This one, much, much needed improvement. A lot more modern, a lot more wearable in 2018, in my personal opinion. Still, today, one of my most favorite designer set of all time. I will always have these things in my collection. I probably won't be reaching for this too much anymore, seeing that I already own so many other fragrances now, but this will always be in my collection. It will always be in my all-star list. Next, we have Monday. And Monday, I wore Layton Exclusive. I don't know why I just said Layton Exclusive, hailed by me as one of the most amazing perfumes in Mali, if not the most amazing release from perfumes in Mali ever. Out of all of their line, this is my favorite. Hands down, nothing beats it. Smells really good, lasts a long time, great compliments. This is my go-to nights out fragrance. I reach for this 95% of the time when I'm going clubbing, when I'm going to the bar, anytime I'm going out and if I'm wearing like a collar shirt like this, especially a collar shirt like this, I'm reaching for Layton. There's like, there's no competition, really. This is the best. Wear it at nighttime, guys, trust me. Girls will love it. And the smell of this is unique enough that it would just surprise her. It really, really would surprise her. I was like, whoa, what kind of smell is that? I've never smelled it on any other guy before. That's exactly what she's gonna be thinking. And this, guys, the alluring and seductive quality of this is not at all to be underestimated. Oh, oh yep, yep. Anyone who've tried either the original Layton or this one will know what I'm talking about. Oh, what a gem. Layton exclusive, guys. My Monday scent of the day. We're gonna interrupt this program for a quick unboxing session. Ooh, I have no clue what this is. This is exciting. <gasps> no way, they're here. These are the, oh my Lord. Oh, I can't show you guys this, not yet. Oh my God. I'm sorry guys, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, I, I can show you the bottom of the box. Here, there's four bottles in here. Oh, but I can't show you guys the brand yet because oh, I've been wanting to work with this brand for a long time now and uh, I'm sure none of you guys have heard of this brand before but I just can't show you guys what's in here yet. Soon, soon guys, I promise, soon. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. What day are we on? Okay, we're on Monday. Monday, guys, I wore a classic. I went into class on Monday and I wore Oudwood. Ah, uh, Oudwood. Best class fragrance, best office fragrance, best school fragrance, best college fragrance is Oud Wood. It smells very professional, very refined, very elegant. Still one of the best Tom Ford's ever released. And I know I say all the stuff I own is the best any brand's ever released, but it's true, it's true. Tom Ford's Oud Wood is one of the best they ever released. It smells really good. It's a best seller for a reason. Ugh. The oud in here, for those who don't know, is a very, very wearable oud. I don't think it even smells like oud. It smells like just a dark, dusty wood. And then on top of the dark, dusty wood, you get a sweetness. Yeah, you get a really nice sugary sweetness on top of the dark, dusty oud. That's the best way to describe oud wood. It doesn't smell like skanky oud or barnyard oud at all. To me, it almost doesn't even smell like oud, but it smells really good. Woody, sweet, luxurious, professional. That is oud wood by Tom Ford. And again, for class and work settings, amazing stuff. I just realized oud wood was Tuesday. Damn it. Wednesday, guys, I decided to pay homage to one of the gems that I own in my collection. And on Wednesday, I wore 2009 Lanuit alum. I head out to do one of my freelance job. I was doing sound testing for their studio. I wore this and oh my god. <laughs> the whole time I was there doing sound testing, I was just mesmerized. Oh, the cardamom in this thing. Why, why, Yves Saint Laurent, why must you take this gem away from us? I've been told though that the 2018 Lanuit projects awesome. It, have any of you guys heard of that? Like in a Facebook group or something? I've, 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 I've been told that. 
2018 Lana Weed is actually good. So now, as a reviewer, I feel obligated to go and buy myself 2018 or get a sample of 2018, see if I can find one. So that's gonna be my agenda for the future. If I can find a 2018 Lana Weed sample, I'm gonna be doing a video comparison and compare it directly to 2009 and a 2014 batch that I own, okay? So hopefully I can get my hand on a sample of 2018. But for now, I'm just enjoying my 2009, guys. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could have a backup bottle of this. I wish I could have 20 backup bottles of this, really. Last one, guys, we have Thursday. That was yesterday, and I, I gave in. I gave in to you guys, please. All the people who've commented down in my comment section about this fragrance, you guys got to me, okay? This fragrance is Spice Bomb. Extreme. This one <laughs> smells so good. Man! Ah! Oh, this makes me want to redo my winter list. My god. You guys are right. You guys are right all along. If I were to redo my designer winter list, this would easily be in the top five. Only the top five so far because I only had one wearing out of this. I don't want to give it any higher spots than that. But off of one wearing, this would easily be in the top five. Oh my god. I'm gonna be reviewing this fragrance by the way in the next week or so so look out for a review of this one. Mmm, why did I not grab this thing before I did my winter list? Damn it. Now I want to redo it. But guys, just notice off of first smell so far, this is in the top five best winter fragrance designer. No doubt. It could be higher after a few more wearings. I don't know, but at least it's top five. All right guys, that's it for this video today. The 30th video the one month anniversary of daily uploading. Thank you, you guys, so much for watching. I'm, I'm seriously, seriously super grateful. This journey has not been easy, but it's been made a lot easier with you guys around. And here's to another month of daily upload, and hell, maybe a few more months of daily upload. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time with another video tomorrow. Peace out and bye.